Mexico, UAE, Oman, USA, Canada, France, Spain, Italy, UK, Philippines, Cyprus, Austria, Sweden, Portugal. That's it. Bonjour, it's Stefano Tsitsipas for GQ. First of all, my laptop. It goes with me everywhere. That's where my emails take place, my work, my video editing, my photography. I use this all over the world. It has been serving me for the last three years now. And it's a very important piece of hardware that I carry with me everywhere. I watch movies, TV shows. Um, I make videos myself that I upload on YouTube. So there's a lot of things going on in here that uh, I spend my time with. Also a lot of research, real estate, cars. I like looking at stuff, so. Next we have my Red Bull cup. It's pretty much I wear it everywhere I go. I like to have this around for my hair as well because my hair is really long and there's nothing I can really wear to not have my hair going in front of my eyes. It also happens to be one of my sponsors that uh, has served me very well the last couple of years and uh, there is a big meaning behind their message and the lifestyle they want to uh, introduce to its athletes. Simple but important. Next we have books. This book in particular, I've been reading this week. It's a very good way for me to relax um, after a practice or a match. I like to lay on the couch and read a book. I enjoy reading books before going to bed. It's a great way to end the day and learn something new. And I've been really enjoying this one in particular. I'm a subscriber to Netflix myself. I'm genuinely interested in uh, getting to know that company better and their philosophy behind. Very important thing that I carry with me everywhere is this camcorder video camera. It's very helpful for my trips when I want to share different moments with my audience, which happens to be on YouTube. Well, this one I got recently. I got really tired of carrying with me DSLR cameras because I always have to change the lenses. And you can imagine how much gear I have in my bag. I said, I'm just gonna get a camcorder. I know it's a very old thing to do. Not many people use these these days. But it's actually one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I've uh, bought so far this year. I do enjoy the simplicity, less gear, less headaches. I think it's the most valuable thing in my bag. It's, uh, it's really important. Something that has been occupying a lot of my time recently is this book here. I'm uh, learning how to drive and uh, I've spent a lot of time reading the book, being taught of all the rules and theory that I need. Basically, preparing myself for the big test once I'm free. I'm a big fan of Aston Martin cars, so it's definitely going to be an Aston Martin car that I'm getting once I get my license. Big plans coming ahead. Next, we have this little device. I don't know if you remember that. Um, I have an Instagram account that hasn't gone public yet. It's a private account that I just have my friends in it. I get to share my best moments with them through this camera, uh, I've shot some really nice photos and I'm going to have that sent to be developed. It takes photos better than any other camera I've shot with because it has this very nostalgic uh, look to it. And uh, it's always in my bag because uh, I have some really nice moments that I can share with uh, my friends on the tour, off the tour, around all these beautiful cities that I get to visit every single year. Passport. I can't go anywhere in the world without my passport. Will you count it for me? China, Mexico, UAE, Oman, USA, Canada, France, Spain, Italy, UK, Philippines, Cyprus, Austria, Sweden, Portugal. That's it. My first real estate renting, my home base, Monaco. Something I have with me everywhere, just in case I need to go to my apartment. These keys are always in my bag. I got this apartment in 2019, I think. I live in Monaco because it's uh, very convenient for my tennis. I uh, enjoy the lifestyle that Monaco offers. I think for a tennis player, Monaco is the best base. Weather is always great. You have a lot of players that you can practice with. Uh, I also practice at the Muratul Tennis Academy, which is nearby. Um, for me, Cote is one of the best regions for a tennis player to be. 
and that is why Monaco is one of my base, my, my, my home now. I, I'm barely in Greece anymore. This is my backpack. What I love about this backpack is how small it is, how easy it is to put stuff in it. It's a very good backpack to organize my stuff. And uh, I'm truly in love with it. I got it a few months ago and I've never switched ever since. I think it's a perfect travel bag for someone like me that wants to be minimalistic with his items, but also have the necessary stuff with him, such as all of the stuff that I just showed you. So when I travel, I go through a lot of time zones and that is a very important tool for me to keep up with the time. You know, there are a lot of schedules and a lot of things organized that I need to uh, keep up with and be part of. I think I also got very lucky that I was able to be part of the Rolex team that, uh, you know, makes such good watches. Endurant, in fact. It is genuinely one of my favorite watches to wear. It has a feature in order for you not to miss the time. There's an arrow here, you can put the arrow on the time that you think you have, well, might have a meeting. It reminds you of, of your meeting. Stefano Sitsipas, Pugiku.